Hi, this is the uh, probably going to be the last video in the playlist, last maybe last but one, um, in the video on the playlist which is looking at the areas of sectors of circles. Now I've left this one particularly until last because it's one of the trickiest ones um, and it's really pitched as sort of A star type grade at GCSE or high school maths. Um, it is doable, but it just takes a little bit of time to kind of work your way around it. And what we're given is uh, not a lot of information, really. We're given that this is seven centimetres along this particular perimeter. Uh, this is um, eight, and this is eight. So in other words, it's the sector or it's part of a circle. And what they're asking us to do is to work out the area, the overall area. Okay, alrighty, so um, there's a couple of things going on here. The problem you've got is that you don't know an angle here. If you knew an angle, it would be relatively straightforward. And if you look at the, um, the previous videos, that will give you that information. So the only thing you've got to work with is this seven centimetres along the perimeter. Okay, well, what we're going to do is if I, if I sort of put on the board what I know, what I know is that to work out the perimeter of a circle it's going to be 2 pi r. Now I'm very aware that some teachers use uh, pi d. Um, I don't have a problem with that, it will work out very well if you do that and the numbers work out exactly the same. Because what we've got here is it gives us the ability to say well it's 2 pi, I can't change and that's fixed in my calculator and the radius is 8 which is 16 pi. Okay, so the overall perimeter of this particular circle, if we had the whole circle, it would be equivalent to 16 pi. If you want to make that, uh, if you if you want to make that the decimal equivalent, it's going to be um, I think 50.265. Okay, so. The whole circle, overall perimeter, is about 50 centimetres. Okay, well we've only got 7 centimetres of it, so what we're going to do is use that 7 centimetres as a fraction of the overall perimeter. Now if we do that, that will give us the ability then to calculate this angle, which is the bit that we need in order to calculate the area overall. Okay. What I mean by that is we've got 7 of the perimeter, so we've got 7 out of um, the overall perimeter, which is 50.265, 50.265, and that's what we've actually got as an overall perimeter. So in other words, the angle is going to be that fraction of 360 degrees. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you, but the overall um, circle degrees is going to be 360 degrees, and we've got the fraction of it which is bounded or which has an edge of this perimeter. So it's this bit of it that we're trying to calculate. And if we put that number into a calculator, we end up with an angle uh, an internal angle here of uh, 50.133 degrees. So in other words, this value x here is 50 and a bit degrees, 50.133 degrees. Okay, uh, so I, I appreciate that might take a little bit of sort of working through, but if you do have any questions, if you add a, a comment below, I will come back to you on this. All right. So we've got this value of x is about 50 degrees, so we can use that now to calculate the overall area. And as we've done in the previous videos, we've again, we've used this idea of a fraction, um, and we've said, well, actually, the area will be 50.133 degrees out of 360, multiplied by the area calculation for a circle, which is pi r squared. Now in this particular case we know r is 8, so it's going to be pi times 8 times 8, or pi 8 squared. Plug those numbers into a calculator and you get an overall very neat 28 centimetres squared. And that's actually the answer to this particular question. Okay, so what have we done? Well, we've looked at um, 
this, this perimeter fraction, so it's seven out of the overall perimeter, and then we've looked at this area fraction, which is 50 degrees out of the overall 360. And then we've just used the two normal formulas that we would use for working out the area of a circle is pi r squared, and the perimeter of a circle is 2 pi r or pi d. Okay, um, I hope that's okay for you. I uh, appreciate it does take a little while to, to get through, but uh, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. I will come back. Uh, also, subscribe to the, to the site, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.